And joining us now from Ames, Iowa, scene of last night's debate and tomorrow's Iowa straw poll, our CBS News Chief White House Correspondent, Nora O'Donnell, and CBS News Political Analyst, John Dickerson. Great to have both of you with us. Welcome back, Nora. Good morning. So I, I want to begin, Nora, with the fact that Rick Perry is in and will be officially in as of this weekend. How big of a shadow did that cast on last night's debate? Well, I think it overshadows many of the candidates who are gathered here in Iowa because um, Rick Perry is going to announce on Saturday in South Carolina that he's going to travel to New Hampshire and then he'll come here to Iowa on Sunday. And Rick Perry uh, has a following with social conservatives uh, who maybe have not found their candidate yet in this race, although many of them like Michelle Bachman. He's got a fiscal record that Wyatt just detailed in that piece in terms of jobs in Texas. And there are a lot of Republican fundraisers out there, uh, money men and money women, who are looking for a candidate to get behind. And Rick Perry may be that candidate. So his entrance, no doubt, is going to shake up this race. John, what's your take? Well, I think Nora's exactly right. I mean, he's also a powerful and dynamic candidate. You know, Republicans have been uncertain about this field. Even Mitt Romney, who is the front runner in this field, if you look at the polls and you push on his support, it's quite weak. So Republicans have been casting about for a kind of superhero. And now Rick Perry comes in and kind of fills that void. And he can make the case that in tough economic times, I know how to create jobs in the economy. And the big fight with Romney will be, Romney will say, well, but I know how to create jobs because I've been in business. So it'll be two big candidates fighting over how to create jobs and who has the better argument for how to do so. And Rebecca, to John's point, I think, too, one of the interesting problems that Mitt Romney has, while he has not excited the Republican base, is that while he was governor of Massachusetts, uh, Massachusetts was 47th in the nation in job creation. And now you have Rick Perry, who can come out and say, I've led the nation in terms of job creation. That's why I'm the best candidate to challenge uh, Barack Obama, because the economy and jobs is the number one issue uh, in this election. So I think you're going to have a pretty clear contrast. That's right. And Romney's argument is, oh, well, I created jobs, but, but it was in a very good economy. Perry can say, I created jobs in a very bad economy. Also want to take a listen to something Romney said on the uh, politi political trail this last week, because he ran into some hot water. Take a listen. Corporations are people, my friend. We can raise taxes. At, of course they are. Everything corporations earn ultimately goes to people. So, where do you think it goes? John, this didn't even come up at the debate last night, but it certainly is everywhere on the internet right now. What are your thoughts? Is he going to run into more heat for this, what he said? Well, it depends who the audience is. Democrats jumped all over it. They were sending it out. Uh, we, I must have received seven or eight different emails about it. But Mitt Romney's campaign also sent out an email trying to raise money off of it. The way Republicans see it, the way Mitt Romney's campaign sees it, is this is a, a sign that he has a core, that he can fight, that he can get in there and make the Republican argument. In Republican circles, the argument he was making is absolutely the standard Republican argument. So he was out there looking authentic, a problem that Romney has had in the past campaign and that people raised questions about here. So I think within the Republican context, that was a great moment mm -hmm. for Mitt Romney. Democrats will try to bring it up. But then the question is, will Barack Obama make that case about corporations? Will he beat up on Romney? Mm -hmm. Barack Obama is trying to raise money from those same corporations. And so, you know, this is an argument it would be tough for the president to make. That's a good point. John Dickerson, Nora O'Donnell, we appreciate both of you joining us from Ames, Iowa. Thank you.